Hi, welcome to Simone's Kitchen. Thanks for dropping by. Today I want to make a toasted pumpkin seed dressing. It's a creamy dressing using pumpkin seeds and it's delicious. It's really nice on fresh green salads or blanched or steamed vegetables. So I'm going to make a blanched vegetable salad for it. I've been cutting up the broccoli. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the boiling water. We use the stems and all. The stems of broccoli are really delicious and I see so many people throw them away. You just need to cut off the tough outer part and then it, they're very tender and sweet. We're going to do some carrots as well and we're going to toast the pumpkin seeds in, the, in a pan. I've got the heat on and I've washed the pumpkin seeds under cold water and then I'm just going to dry roast them in the frying pan. You just use a flat-edged wooden uh, spatula to toast the seeds. Works really well. Okay, the seeds are just about ready now. They're lightly brown, they're completely dry, and they're all kind of puffed up. Yeah, so then we can just go ahead and take them out of the pan. And the carrots are also ready. I'm going to add them to the broccoli. Some beautiful blanched vegetables to go with our creamy, delicious toasted pumpkin seed dressing. This is a great tool for blanching. Okay, so the seeds are ready and we're going to go ahead and make our dressing. Now the secret to making a great dressing is to balance the five tastes. As you know, that's sweet, sour, salty, pungent, and bitter, right? Plus your base and plus any accents that you want to give the dressing. As the base, we have the olive oil and the seeds. That'll give a nice creamy, rich base. The pungent flavor is from the spring onions, the mustard, and the cayenne pepper. It's just a little bit of cayenne pepper, but enough to just to give it that a high note. The bitter is the parsley. We have a ch lightly chopped parsley. And one of the accents is the lemon zest, full of so much flavor, really delicious. And the lemon juice is the sour. The sweet, we have a brown rice syrup, which is a fantastic alternative to sugar. It's about half as sweet as refined sugar and um, very healthy. The salty aspect is the shoyu, which is a naturally brewed soy sauce, and the umeboshi plum. Now these pickled plums are amazing. It has a sweet, sour, salty taste, actually. I'm just going to take out the pit. Now, I have to tell you, these are really great home remedy. They, they help to alkalize the system. And if you have a stomach ache or a headache, often it's just because you got a little bit acidic. You take an umeboshi plum, and within a few minutes, you feel better. It's a fantastic thing to put in your, your home medicine cabinet. So I put in a little olive oil. I'm going to put in the chopped spring onions and a spoon of mustard. Mustard is really delicious in dressings. I, I put it as that pungent aspect in 90% of my dressings. A little bit of cayenne and some fresh parsley. Adds a delicious flavor, but also that little hint of bitter, which necessary for a good rounded flavor. The lemon zest, you only want to use organic lemons. You only want to use organic ingredients in general, but if you're going to use the zest of citrus, you want to make sure that it hasn't been sprayed. Okay, so that's enough. About a couple teaspoons. And lemon juice. You could also use a vinegar. I really like the softness of the lemon, sour of the lemon, though. I use it in a lot of dressings. I use vinegar sometimes, but not so often as I use lemon. This lemon doesn't have a lot of juice, so I'm going to put in the juice from the whole lemon. There we go. Look at those seeds sizzling. And, yeah a tablespoon or two of the rice syrup. Gives that nice sweet flavor. And 
a dash of shoyu. Now, because of the seeds, we need to add a little more liquid to get a good emulsion. A little bit of water, maybe a little more. And then we're just gonna go ahead and blend it. It's easy as that. Then you just gotta taste your dressing and see if it needs anything else. Mmm, delicious. It goes so well with blanched, steamed or fresh vegetables. Like I said earlier, today we've made some blanched vegetables. You can just pour the sauce over or put it on the side as a dip. It's delicious, a beautiful side dish. You can find this recipe on the website, simoneskitchen.com. Thanks for joining us today, and I look forward to see you again soon in Simone's Kitchen.